Okay, so we've got another product in here from Hobby Made. This is a 5 inch FPV racing frame, and this is a stretched X frame. I think it's supposed to be kind of an ultralight as well. I'm not sure how ultralight it is. Okay, so here's all the parts out of the box. Uh, pretty typical uh, racing frame style. This is bottom, bottom mounted battery, uh, individual arms here. You got a sandwich plate for the arms, it looks like, and then a top plate. And you get some side plates for the camera. Obviously, you get all your standoffs and your screws and stuff here for putting that together. Let's get some measurements here. So the arms are five millimeters thick. Uh, this is one of the bottom plates, two millimeters thick. And this is the sandwich plate, also two millimeters thick. And the top plate's two millimeters thick. And the little side plates for the camera are also two millimeters thick. And the standoffs are 30 millimeters tall, so there should be plenty of space for putting three boards in there in your stack. So this is the uh, first frame I've uh, received from Hobby Meat. They're going to be sending me a couple more frames. Uh, I think another racing frame and also a freestyle frame. So I've never had carbon from them before. It looks pretty good. Got chamfered edges on the arms, the uh, side or the bottom plates, top plates, stuff there. Those aren't chamfered, just the arms. And it looks like they've gone with the three-hole setup here for the motor mount. I think that's kind of common these days now. But it shouldn't be too difficult to put this together. And here's a look at the bottom plate, the sandwich plate. It looks like we got some uh, countersunk screw holes here. So it looks like this is going to be the bottom. And that should be flat. And then you got some uh, little slot here for your battery strap. But it doesn't look like a battery strap is included. Okay, so here's the top plate. Nothing too special here. Skinny in the middle here. Probably save some weight. Got some holes for your zip tie and an antenna hole for an SMA adapter. Uh, yeah, so just, let's go ahead and put this together real quick, and then we'll take a look at uh, other dimensions and measurements. Okay, so I just started putting this together, and just thought I wanted to point out a little design element that's kind of interesting. Uh, putting uh, one of these uh, countersunk screws in this hole here, which is uh, chamfered, and it comes up through here. This is the bottom plate. We've got this little notch here for this screw here that goes through to the stack. So I think that they designed it this way so that you ought to be able to remove this screw and then this this screw here it's going to go into a press fit nut in that hole there and th that way you can uh, easily uh, switch out the arm so that's a, I think that's a pretty good design element. Okay so I just wanted to show you the progress of the assembly so far. Uh, I think what you want to do is you want to definitely start off with the arms and the, the sandwich plate here, the bottom plate here. Yeah, actually this this is the bottom plate that's the sandwich plate I suppose. Or <laughs> whatever two bottom plates. You got a little slot there. So, um, the uh, countersunk screw here, you want to use the shortest one for the one that goes into the standoff. There's going to be a medium sized countersunk screw and then a really long one. I think that's going to be for your stack, for obviously these four holes here. There's no other place to put a countersunk screw. And then there's going to be these um, M3 screws here with the little button head. You want to put the longer one here in the second uh, screw for the arm it goes into a press fit nut there. There's a shorter one that uh, doesn't, obviously it won't fit because it's not long enough to reach the nut. That's gonna, this is going to go into the top plate into the standoff. So those, that's what those are for. And then you have uh, four more of these press fit nuts. They're going to go uh, right there. I think that's to hold the, uh, secure this part of the arm and uh, also for the stacks. So, it's fairly straightforward, actually. I don't think there's going to be any extra screws left over, so it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. But I just wanted to show you that this is uh, probably the first step you know, in getting the frame together, and it shouldn't be that hard once you get at least this part done, and the rest should go pretty easily. Okay, so here it is, uh, fully assembled. And a tip for you guys is don't tighten down any of these screws all the way until you have everything in place, and then tighten everything down. Otherwise, you're going to have some trouble getting it in. But uh, once you have everything uh, tighten down. These arms are very, very stiff. This doesn't move around at all, um, especially after you put the ones for the stack in here. I use the longest screw here so I can probably use a three board stack. And of course, the way that these long screws work, you have to use some spacers in here, slide your boards on, and then you know, use some sort of a nut on top here to secure it. And if you have a shorter stack or a two board stack, you can use the, uh, the medium length uh, uh, screw instead. Those are the only ones that are left, those four, and then the little Allen key that was included. Um, yeah, overall, there's you know, it's nothing too special about the design. There's a lot of frames like this with 
sandwich plates and you know skinny arms like this and a top plate so just a typical uh, five inch racing type of frame here anyway so let me uh, give you some more measurements the uh, width here for the camera area is 19 millimeters so this is going to fit your micro size cameras and that's going to not going to fit the minis or the full size cameras but that's the trend now everything's going micro sized and these the width of these arms which i forgot to measure before coming in at 8.8 .8 millimeters width so you know they're going for the uh, thicker arms and skinnier uh, you know it's it's pretty stiff so um, i think this will hold up pretty good in a crash plus the arms are replaceable. I'm pretty sure that they're going to have replacement arm parts on their site at some point really soon. Okay, so this is a stretch deck, so let's see what the uh, measurements are for the motor to motor. Coming in at about 220 millimeters motor to motor. The front to back is 170 millimeters. And the side to side is coming in at about 138 millimeters. Okay, and the, the weight of the bare frame is coming in at about 84 and a half grams. So, not quite an ultralight, but definitely in the lightweight category. Anyway, yes, an overall nice frame for the price. Uh, I think it's about $39, I think. I, I think there it's $49 on Amazon with a $10 coupon. There's going to be a coupon code in the description if you want to bring the price down. And uh, I think that these guys are not stocking a whole lot uh, for their initial ship because they want to see what the demand is like first. So uh, I think when I released my video on the T12, I think it sold out within like five minutes. So... You might want to jump on this if you are actually interested in buying this frame. If you're here for the giveaway, uh, they are going to give away one of these frames to a one lucky winner. So uh, leave one comment down below, and only one comment. And um, I'm going to ask if you could do me guys a favor and uh, follow me on Instagram as well. It's not going to be a requirement for this giveaway, um, but I would appreciate it if you could do that for me. I just want to build up my followers up on Instagram. Uh, but for the uh, requirements for this giveaway, just one comment down below and only one comment. And I will do a drawing probably in about a week or so. One to two weeks. So depends on my schedule and when I can fit it in. So um, uh, probably within the next like week, they'll probably stop. Uh, there'll probably be not any more comments on this video anyway. But um, I want to give everyone a chance to watch the video and enter the contest if uh, they choose to do so. Anyway, it's going to do for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.